What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. <laughs> Got a good one today. We're working on that Kiki bus, and uh, we had to order the big panel for the uh, driver's side, and it showed up yesterday. And when I was coming home from work, I was all excited, you know, to come home and tear into that box. And I started thinking about, you know, a few things uh, that were kind of perturbing me, and a few things that I wish I would have known about. Uh, before getting into this this major project uh, So today we're gonna go through that the five things that you don't know about When you replace a panel on a, a classic car could be any kind of classic car You know any kind of big big panel replacement um, So there's five things that I wish I would have known when I started this and uh, we're gonna get into the first one right now It's over here all right, so the first thing is kind of a big deal. You know, you order a big panel like this. It comes in a giant box. And my problem is you can see that from the street in most cases. Uh, you know, I, I get a nice big delivery like this. And uh, this huge white box that they put it right on my front lawn, my front porch, right in front of the door. You can see it from the street. Most people, you know they're gonna walk on by but we got a lot of big problems now with all this delivery people stealing packages off the porch now I've been waiting for this part for oh, two weeks almost and if I got home and, and I knew this was delivered and this part wasn't here I'd be you know I'd be kind of mad so when you order a big panel like this or a big box of little parts you know or something like that when you get the delivery uh, you know you can schedule the delivery to come on a day that you're home now you can you know call usually UPS or whatever or the post office and then you can tell them you know bring it after five or bring it on a Saturday or whatever day that you're gonna be home uh, you know just so it's not here you can also you know grab a neighbor or, or tell them to stick it to the side yard over here someplace you know, sometimes they'll listen Amazon doesn't listen all the time they like to throw stuff right on the porch where everybody can see it so first thing Watch out for those big boxes, especially when they're labeled something cool down the side. You know, there's people in the neighborhood restoring cars. They might they might mistake that for something they could use and take it. So be careful with those big old packages. All right, the next thing, which can be very frustrating, <laughs> is the way that it's packaged. This box full of these little packing peanuts and if you open this up anywhere they're gonna be everywhere especially if you have to dig down in there and get some little pieces out of there um, so you definitely want to make sure when you open this thing it's in a controlled space even in the garage with the door open they're everywhere and they're lightweight and they blow around like crazy um, the nice thing about companies like Wolfsburg West uh, CIP1 I think does the same thing and uh, Wolfgang, uh, when they send out safaris and stuff, they use these packing peanuts that are, I don't know what they're made out of, but when you get them wet, they goop up and they turn into nothing. See that? It just turns into like a weird slime. Uh, and I've, I've been reading about it and it sounds like they're not toxic. It's not harmful to the environment. You know, if they do blow around, they just get wet and they dissolve. But we don't want them blowing around. It doesn't look good uh, in the neighborhood, trash floating around. So be very careful when you open this box. Be very careful when you pull stuff out um, to dispose of them. If you're not going to reuse them, I like to reuse them when I send carbs out and stuff. Uh, but if you're not going to reuse them, you can put them in a five gallon bucket. You can pour a bunch of warm water on there and they'll just dissolve into nothing. And you can just pour it out in the grass. Um, I've, I've done that before too didn't seem to hurt anything uh, so that's tip number two packing peanuts look out because they are everywhere and they fill that box they're static you know you put your hand in there and the static electricity will pull them out and they blow around so it's just a bad time waiting to happen um, so just be very careful when you open the package you know, and, and dispose of them properly. Don't just throw them in the trash where they're going to hit the landfills, whatever. It's good to, you know, rinse them down, turn them into a goo. Tip number two, packing peanuts. Tip number three, body damage. 
So you get a panel this big shipped halfway across the country in a box, you know, a cardboard box, you're gonna have to expect some damage. Um, you know, they're, they're close to the same thickness as factory metal, but this is a flimsy piece of a panel, so they're gonna get bent. You know, this one I just unwrapped. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, like a fist size dent right in the curve. You know, right in the pain in the butt part to fix. We got this corner, you can see that. That corner is all folded up. There's a few other small dents. Overall, not bad. And even with those two the damages that are on there, I'd say this is probably one of the better panels that I've received um, in the mail. It's this big and this not flat. Um, no matter how good they pack it, you're gonna get some damage. I mean, if, if they packed it to where you wouldn't get damage, you'd pay an arm and a leg in shipping, which is already expensive. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. What you need to do is when you get that panel out, you need to inspect it carefully. You need to identify the dents, the little dings, you know, the little, the little damaged spots. And it's easier to fix those now than it is once you get it on the bus or whatever car, the bug or the square back, whatever you're working on. Easier to pop that dent now. So I'm gonna get my body hammer out before I attach this to this bus. And I'm gonna knock that dent out and just get it, get it close. You can fine tune it once it's on the bus. You know, you can squirt a little Bondo in there and sand it down. But trying to knock this dent out with it already welded in place, you're just creating a headache for yourself. So that's tip number three. Check those panels when you bring them out of the box and give them a basic work over before you go to install them. It's gonna save yourself a ton of time. It's gonna save yourself a huge headache. Number four, trim to fit. <laughs> These panels are never gonna come to be the exact size that you need them. They're gonna be close. You know, these, these companies get one from a, a bus that they cut out and they measure and they, and they get it to kind of sort of fit in most buses, in most cases. But I've had them short, I've had them misaligned. You know, I've had them misshapen. And these things are all dented and twisted already as it is. You're gonna have to do a little trimming to fit it. And it's worth the extra time to, to get it to fit right before you start welding stuff in. And it's a good idea like this to do both of these at the same time because then you know they fit together and whatever you had to trim off of one, you might have to trim off the other one. Make it all fit nice, dry fit before you weld it or tack it. You're gonna have a better time. You know, these things are, are made to fit around like the heater log and these are made to fit around those supports on the side, but you know, they're key to go around that piece, but you're not going to be able to get it in around that piece unless you didn't put that piece in until after, you know, but you can't put that piece in after because then you can't get to the backside to weld it because the floor is in the way. So you have to figure it out. You're going to have to trim for sure. You know, I've had to add some onto the ends before because they were misaligned between the two panels. It's just really thin sheet metal. It's cheaper to make, it's cheaper to ship it, and it's just more of a hassle to install it. The thicker metal, you know, from classic fad that you get or from Grumpy's, it's a little bit better, but it's the same thing. Every car is a little bit different. You're gonna have to just trim it to fit. And the more you trim it and play with it and get it perfect before you try to really install it, the better time you're gonna have. That's supposed to be the fun part of replacing these panels, is take your time, get it to be perfect, then on the last time, that's when you turn the camera on and then everything fits together perfect the first shot. Trim to fit. All right, number five. That's not primer. <laughs> what they ship these things in, it's not a weld through primer. It's, it's not an etching primer. It's not paint. This is a shipping coating that they put on there to protect stuff in the box, you know, from light moisture in transport and on shelf, you know, shelving, shelf life. This is not something that you can just hold it in place and weld it on and call it a day. Uh, this is, it's gonna rust through this. This stuff's gonna wear off really fast. You know, it, it's not made for that. So 
to weld it. I think you saw in some of my other videos from this bus when I was putting on these pieces and the pillars and uh, the top hat pieces and the outriggers. You gotta grind off the spots where you're gonna weld. You wanna weld, you always wanna weld onto metal. Um, even the weld through primers, I don't trust them. Uh, the classic fab stuff, they say that's a weld through primer. I don't trust it. So I always go down to metal, both sides, and the piece you're welding it to, go to metal. Metal, 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 tack it. You know, we punch holes in these for tack welds, but if you're running a bead on something, get good metal contact, get a good ground, uh, and you're gonna have a good solid repair. You know, and then you grind your welds down, and then you can shoot actual primer on top of this, and you'll have good protection, and then you can paint over it. Don't try to paint over this, your paint, it'll stick for a little while and they'll start to bubble when that moisture gets underneath it. Definitely not primer. Um, definitely not. <laughs> I've learned from experience. So, there you go. Five things I wish I knew before jumping into this big project, replacing all this metal on this crusty bus. Um, you know, I hope that was helpful for you. A lot of people have been watching these videos and saying, you know, hey, that kind of gave me the jump start to start doing my own bus. You know, a friend of mine, John, is working on, uh, you know, he's got Squirrel, that Bay Window Westy uh, tin top. He's got a 65 Westy tin top that was missing floors and rockers and stuff. And he'd never welded before, and it looked like a huge job, and he was just dreading going into it. Um, but after seeing, you know, me and, and Mitchie was working on another one of John's buses, and some of the other guys around been doing some metal work with all this time we've had off. And uh, you know, he went and bought a welder and, and he started doing it and man, it came out fantastic. Um, it's so good, it, it looks very professional. You know, he just took his time, trimmed to fit, you know, get the right parts and just get in there and, and just get your hands dirty and get it done. You can do this. Uh, and now that you know the stuff to look out for, when you get these panels so you're not surprised, what do I do? Now you know what to do. Hide that package, fix that bodywork, look out for those peanuts, because they get everywhere. <laughs> They're all over, you'll find them all over the house. It's crazy, you know, and then, uh, you know, that's not primer. Definitely take care of that, and you'll have an easy time, and you look like a pro, it's fantastic. So, thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the tips. Hit that little subscribe button right there for me. Ring that little bell right there. Thanks for watching.